Hello, welcome everyone. Today I will be showcasing block 36 merge transmutation. This is a new simple method to change the data value of a block through a glitch. First off, I need to give credit to all the amazing people who helped create this. Pancakes first shared the method with me, Vertices then provided details on how to get it working, and then Nian greatly simplified it and discovered the code that works behind it. Links for all of them are in the description, so make sure to give them support. This method works from beta 1.7.2 to beta 1.9 pre-release 5. That start version is especially important. Do not attempt this method in beta 1.7 or beta 1.7 underscore 01, because that will cause a crash and the world will become corrupted and unplayable. In beta 1.7.2 and later though, this method is completely safe. This machine is so simple because it only involves seven blocks. It will set the data value of the upper block to be equal to the lowered block's data value. If you aren't aware, the data values were used in versions 1.12 and earlier to store different information about blocks. For example, the color of wool or the rotation of many blocks. So in this example, the wool is orange, which has a data value of one. And it's going to set this log to be data value one as well, which means it will become a spruce log. To construct this machine, you want a sticky piston facing upward, the block whose data value will be used, the block that is going to receive the data value, then you're going to want a regular piston that is facing towards that block, and then diagonally upwards, you're going to want a solid block with a lever on top of it so that you can bud the piston. To activate, flip this lever to bud the upper piston, and then place a redstone torch on top of this block. This does consume the lower block when it activates. So you're going to need a new block every time you want to do it. A cheap method for the data value is just using different colors of wool from Shearing Color Cheap. Here is a data value table showing which colors of wool correspond to each data value. Wool is a cheap option, but any other data value block will work as well. This machine does have limitations though, because it will not work on any blocks that are unpushable or break when they're pushed. However, this will work on any other block. So now I'm going to transmutate this diamond block using the orange wool with data value one. So once I do this, the diamond block has just gotten that data value one. But diamond blocks don't change visually when they have a data value one. So right now, you just can't see that it actually has the data value one. But I can show that it does have that data value by transmutating wool using the diamond block. So this will cause the wool to get the data value one from the diamond block, and so change back to orange. There you go. So you can tell that the diamond block does have that data value one. That's all. For more information about transmutation, please check out the Minecraft Discontinued Features wiki page in the description. Thanks for watching.